Hello Internet, and today I am going to show you how to make this grass scene I have here in Blender Cycles 2.68. So to get started, we need to delete the startup cube, add a plane, go to view camera, and size it up. And then adjust it so that this line right here doesn't go past this corner. And then size it up again. Do that again. And we just keep doing this till we have a plane that's big enough to fill up our camera view. You don't want to get too big then we'll slow down your render times, but like that, that should do right there. Now I will change it from Blender Render to Cycles Render. And the big thing with Cycles Render and Grass is you must have, must have Experimental clicked instead of Supported. And that is for Mac. On Windows, I think there's a third option, and it has to be CPU. But on Mac, it's just experimental. So now to the grass. Add in a particle system. Change this to hair. Click Advanced. Now right here, you can vary this number. If you have a slower computer, I would recommend having a smaller number, but on my computer, I'm going to have 15,000. That is quite a few, but my computer can handle it. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to have 10,000. Alright, click random. And then down to velocity, we want point zero seven and that is the length of our grass and then down to the physics we want the Brownian point zero three Brownian point zero three and that'll add some bend to our grass it's not standing straight up and on to the render, we want the spline checked, and strand render is optional. It'll speed up your render times, but it will make your image not look as good. So I'm going to leave it unchecked, but if you're trying for like testing and stuff like that, I would have this checked. And leave the steps at 3, go down to children, we want this to be simple, and again here, it depends on your computer speed, I will leave this at 300 for my render, but for a not as powerful computer, you may want 150 or 200. And now the clump, we want negative 0.5. Shape, we can make it zero. Length, we want at point five. We want threshold at point five. And we want the radius at point three. And now on to the roughness. We want the end point to be point zero zero five. Shape to be Mm -hmm. And then for random, we want 0 0.005 and the size to be 2. And down to cycles. Now, if you do not have experimental clicked active, you will not see this here the cycles, hair rendering, and settings. So if you can't see this, 
you do not have it set up correctly. You must also have at least 2.66 or later to see this. It will not work in 2.65 or earlier. Now, for here, if you want a nicer looking image, you can do smooth curves, but true normal will render faster. For me, I do smooth curves. Now, the settings. I will have the shape put at negative 0.8, the root to be at negative, no, not negative, 0 0.03, and leave the tip at 0 with the scaling at 0 0.01. And now for some settings to make it look nicer, we will change this to a sun, like that, click these nodes, make those the way it are, they are, and change this to the node editor, right click on the plane, click new material, and change to material, these nodes, and now we will add a texture, texture, image texture. And the texture I have chosen is just a simple grass texture. You must already have one downloaded. Just go to your textures folder, grass texture. If you don't know to get one, just go to Google and type in grass texture, and that will get you a nice texture like that. And now we need to go to world settings, use nodes, and we want to add a texture, and we want it to be a sky texture. Oh, that's not what we want. And connect the yellow dots. And I like to bring down this about a third or a quarter of the way so that you get a nice shadow. Try to keep it straight when you do this, or it can mess with your uh, shadows on your grass. And last, I think we will change the color of the sun right here. Just a nice light yellow color. There we go. That should do it, I think. It's a nice light yellow to give it more of a yellow color onto the grass. Now, that should be all there is. I will render it and see you in a bit. Alright, welcome back. Here is the image that I have rendered. If on yours you'd like to fill in these open areas, all you'd have to do is up the particles amount right up here. Now, my advice on this is don't go above 25,000 because that will pretty much freeze your computer if you go above 25,000. I try to stay under 20,000 just because sometimes my laptop doesn't like to handle stuff that big. And that is all I have for you today. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you have questions. But before I go, I have a challenge for everyone. I would like to see your grass creations that you have made following this tutorial. Please leave them in the video response section below. Thank you.